Jason James in the locker room area with Micah and Tracy Taylor. And Tracy, we'll get to you in just a minute about your huge championship match coming up. But first, Micah, you've got gold in your mind. Tonight, if you win, you're in. You got no tough opponent at hand, Jeremiah Plunkett, but that's going in 100%. We got to know after that attack last week by Jesse Emerson, how's the knee going into this championship tournament match? That wasn't just an attack last week by Emerson. That was a, you know, that was a cheap shot on about his part to my knee. And the doctors say there's no way that I should be in that ring tonight. If I'm not at 100%, I shouldn't be facing anybody. But that SAW championship, that's way too prestigious for me. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to give it everything I got, 100%, 50%, 80%. I'm giving it everything I got and plunk it. Here's just another step in stone for me. That's it. And I'm going to advance as far as I can in the SAW championship tournament. Well, there you hear from Micah Taylor and Tracy. We've seen the past couple of assaults uh, from Abri Ella. She's attacked you on two separate occasions. I got to know, is there anything that you can think that provoked those attacks from this bizarre woman? You know, I can't think of anything except for me being the SAW women's champion. You know, having a title automatically makes me a target. And I think she wants to go for it. Well, you've got Abriella a little bit later for the SAW Women's Championship, Micah and Tracy Taylor. So, ladies and gentlemen, it is all on the line here. One of these two men in our next matchup, that man, Jeremiah Plunkett, or Micah Taylor, will move on to the final four of the SAW International Heavyweight Championship Tournament, and you know, you know that man right there, Jeremiah Plunkett, has got to be salivating. He has got to smell blood in the water knowing that Micah Taylor has that injured knee. You heard Micah Taylor mention that the doctors do not want him in this matchup. There are only so many times in your life you get a chance at a, a world title and, and you can see the limp uh, from Micah Taylor as he makes his way out. Nice ovation from the fans here at SAW. As all oh, you can see, he is very gingerly making his way to the ring. It's all at stake here. One of these men will win this portion of the SAW International Heavyweight Championship Tournament, the win and get in portion, and they will move on to the final four. So it is obviously all on the line here. Oh, you can see, not able to put a whole lot of weight at all on that left knee. And look at, look at the look on Jeremiah Plunkett's face. He's, he's almost giddy. He's very nearly <laughs> unable to contain his laughter. I wouldn't count Micah Taylor out of this, but the odds have got to be stacked against him to the man from Tater Peeler, Tennessee. Referee Joe Phillips will be presiding over this one. And again, it is a huge match. The winner of this match goes on to the final four of the SAW International Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Jeremiah Plunkett wants to start fast. He's runs up. It's a three count. It's a three count. It's a three count. It's over. What happened? What happened? Jeremiah Plunkett charged the ring, charged the corner of Micah Taylor as the bell rang. Micah Taylor able to sidestep him, make a maneuver through the middle and top rope, wrap up Plunkett, and you can see Plunkett cannot believe it. I can't either, that's gotta be a new record. Let's take a look at the Grumpy's Rewind. Look at Plunkett, charge the ring, and great maneuver, what an athletic maneuver from Micah Taylor, and a three count just like that, it's over. Can you believe it? Ladies and gentlemen, Micah Taylor moves on to the final four 